All right, here we are. I just got north of Duluth, Minnesota. <clears throat> and this here is the big lake, Lake Superior. And I have never, this is the first time I've been to Lake Superior. Well, it's the first time I've been a lot of places on this trip, but uh, I've visited, visited and been around most, well, all of the, all of the Great Lakes except for this one. And um, so this kind of, now I've been around all the Great Lakes, or I, you know, not around, completely around all of them, but <clears throat> anyway. So I, uh, I left at Rick Hansen's house this morning and he took me for a little uh, ride to get to around a bunch of, uh, there was bridges out and this and that. So anyways, he, he helped me out with that. And uh, it's a little overcast here, as you can see. But I'm on my way around the top here of Lake Superior into Canada. And I'm going to go into Canada and then come down around probably... Um, I may, might make a couple of little detours, but basically I'll end up at Niagara Falls. And then from Niagara Falls, I'll probably head on to that little road I like to take, Route 18, down, you know, around the bottom of uh, Lake Ontario. That's a road that I really enjoy riding. I have a few times. And, um, and then, you know, I'm, uh, I'm heading home, I guess, you know? The thing is, is it was really funny that well, yeah, it's, uh, the other day, I think it was like two or three days ago, I had this fleeting thought that it might be nice to be home. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I guess I'm thinking in that direction. So it might be nice to get home at this point. And um, so that's what's happening. And maybe I'll make it there this weekend. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, a little ways away yet to kind of predict all that and I got I don't know I, was, I got a couple of things I want to do so anyways there you go it's a little bit of an update here I am on the side of Lake Michigan I mean Lake Superior and uh, I was gonna go across Michigan on the ferry but I decided to come up here because I've never really been around up here and this really is it really is nice here so anyway more to come I had to stop here I'm on the by Lake Michigan here I mean I, I keep calling it Lake Michigan it's Lake Superior and uh, I had to stop here because this thing is like huge may not look it but the, all those mounds in there it's all iron ore pellets well i'll go down the road a little bit but this place is gigantic <laughs> i just thought you know i kind of i kind of like huge industrial stuff you know so um you know boy they're processing some iron ore here. You can tell because the ground is like you can see all the all the metal in the in the ground. It's all like rust, you know? So this is like it's all little pieces of iron ore. So there must be like it looks like there might be a mine over here, you know, on the other side of that. With some huge conveyor and, and up here it's even it's more of the but it looks like they load ships down here with that with this big huge crane thing here wellman but <clears throat> there's huge mountains of iron ore there i think and you know it's right here on the on the lake so you know that they're they're 
you know, floating all this stuff down to wherever, you know, to ship off through the Great Lakes system. You know, that's that's what this was, you know, the Great Lakes were used for. That's why it got so developed around here. Anyway, so. But I'm going to do a little more video down there. I didn't. It's nicely overcast today. So, I got to say that I, I learned something yesterday. I was kind of poo-pooing the fact that the guys in the Goldwing Club told me that these uh, Dunlop Elite floor Fours were like really good tires, you know, a lot better than the other the, um, Bridgestones that I was using. And, you know, I got caught in the rain yesterday and I had way more confidence on those Elite Fours than I did on the Bridgestones. So I got a, a correction. I was wrong. They were right. <laughs> Uh, they, boy, they do stick a little better in the rain. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I'm glad they uh, told me to get them, and I'm glad I paid the little bit of extra to get those. But um, anyway, I can admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go down a little further here and take, take some more video of this huge place. All right, here we are cliffs north shore and uh cliffs north shore mining plant entrance and the sign down the road says they make environmentally friendly iron ore pellets so i'm not sure how they do that but anyways i bet you neo anderson knows <laughs> uh, anyway he knows about every company but there's a big thing over across the street here, too. Yeah, there's a van here next to me. <laughs> Asbestos Control and Consulting. Ooh. But here it is. This place is, like, gigantic. I mean, it goes, you know, it goes on for a while. But anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool. You know, I like this kind of stuff. Heading to the Canadian border. Hopefully, we'll get across in another couple of hours or so. A little less, a lo, you know, maybe an hour and a half. So. But anyway.
I made it to Iron Bridge, Ontario here. And um, basically, I should be home in two days. But I do have to say that um, I had that Canadian phone and um, my, you know, it ran out. I, I bought a month and it ran out. So um, not gonna have any phone or anything until I basically get into like, I guess Vermont or wherever. But uh, just so that everyone knows, <laughs> I didn't tell anyone because the phone just they sent me a well anyways it's out <laughs> so i'm on my way home and there's not much more to come <laughs>